Good morning. We have a team meeting coming up in a couple minutes. So we're going to join this meeting, this call. I hopefully will get some clarity on this project that my manager has me working on. Like, what am I supposed to be doing exactly? Because we had a, a, a conversation in Slack yesterday and I'm like, what do you want me to do? And she's like, well, once you summarize the data, how, what do you want summarized? Like, tell me, because I don't understand. I don't understand. What do you want summarized? Like, what are you looking for me to do? Well, we need to find out top performers. Is that something you want me to do? Well, no, we'll have other people do that. Again, what am I supposed Supposed to be doing then I don't understand make it clear to me because I don't I don't get it let's get on this call good morning All right, so that call was uneventful, <laughs> to say the least. It was just a lot of updates about projects that are happening, um, changes that are happening, but I don't think there's anything for me to do at the moment. So I'm just going to continue on working on this project that I've been working on previously or yesterday. Um, what I'm doing is I'm pulling specific information because I want to, I guess, summarize this data. So what I'm doing is taking some titles that are in the, that are in the table and I am consolidating them because there were title changes, even though you're kind of like the same, like you could have like your title could be named senior analyst and they changed the name to senior data analyst. It's you're doing the same job, same work, but they change your title. So I need to do a case statement in my code so that when it shows senior analyst and senior data analyst to consolidate it to one title to show senior data analyst, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm doing for this specific project, because when you go back historically, it's going to show the old title in the database because that's what it was at the time but I don't want it separated out in my final like project I need them consolidated down to one so that's what I'm working on doing now with the case statement so I'm gonna do a case when the title shows these two so it's just gonna be a long kind of well maybe not a long case statement but a case statement to join these titles together into one so case when the title is in uh this oh i need to change this setting because every time i try to put parentheses in something it just adds an opening when i add like the opening parentheses it just adds the opening and closing one automatically i don't know why it must be some random setting i have in teradata studio that I need to change. So case when the description is in this, then, then, and I need to put single quotes on these since these are strings that I'm putting in here. When, okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is run this snippet of code to make sure that my case statement is working since I've put that in there. Like when you're running your code, you want to just run a sample, make sure it looks right. Oh, hold on. I need to comment out this section. What? Why is it? Did I? Okay, so this looks right. Uh, cancel. Okay. All right, so I've had my meetings, had some calls. I've been working on this code a bit more. What? Good morning, Cheryl. Detail actuals report is meant for enterprise directors and their team. Did I request access to something? 
Okay, I don't know what I requested access to. Okay, I don't know what I requested access to. Okay, I don't know. Oh, I wasn't... Okay, so someone reached out for, to me for access to a dashboard yes, last week and I must have accidentally clicked on a request access. I don't have access to it. It's in another group within the company and I don't deal with that Tableau server so I directed them to the owner, but I must have accidentally clicked on request access and they're now responding to me saying like, hey, it's for this purpose. If you need access, it's going to be very limited because it was intended only for like, I didn't want access to the dashboard. So if I requested it, it was an error. That has nothing to do with sales to my knowledge, but okay. Yeah, if it is sales related, it's for sales for a totally different work group than what I work in. All right, so let me go back to what I've been working on. So my manager asked me to do a summary of some data and I've just been like summary of what, you know, like what do you want summarized? It's been very vague and I don't know what she wants and I don't like to guess because when you guess, you have to end up doing things a second time. So I'm gonna, I'm, all I'm gonna do is try y'all, that's all. That's all I can do because she said she would set up some time with me today. I don't have a calendar invite yet. And what I don't want to happen is someone put a, a meeting on my calendar at 3 p.m. or 3.30 when my shift is over and I can't attend it anyways. I don't like that. Like people like to schedule these late meetings. Like I start early in the morning so I can get off earlier in the day. I can't be on here later. I got other stuff I need to do, so. I need to adjust this. So what I'm doing now is like the data that she asked for, I put it in a table. I've been using this, I've been loading data into the database in this table, right? And it's almost 200,000 records. And she's like, can you put that in Excel? Are you trying to crash my system? Like Excel is not to handle that much data, you know? I can barely get it to like act right with like over 10,000 rows. Like, so everything is broken out like each employee should have one record per month the way that I have it. So I'm just summarizing it all together in here as well. I'm going to filter it by their title and I'm going to join this data to some other data too. Cause she mentioned it. I'm assuming that's what she wants. I don't know. Like, I don't know. You know, this is all, no, not count. I need a sum. So I'm just pivoting these results so that I can aggregate it a little bit more. I have on this one sheet, it is aggregated here for January through September. The only thing is that some employees have multiple lines of data. So I have like, there's multiple lines of data because they were in like different markets. So, and she wants to summarize by market, but look, if people change market, it's going to create more than one row. So I don't know what, like I would have to take that out. I would have to take the market out. For example, if I take out, yeah, that takes it out. But let's see if I can find. So yeah, this person was in one market. They're currently in another market. All right, I'm going to pull some data from another dashboard that has their year to date performance already done. So what I'm going to do is this dashboard has the employee sales year to date results. So I'm going to use that and do a VLOOKUP in my data. I hope I could do a VLOOKUP in the data with that. Where is, and I'm just going to send this to her as a guess. Like, I guess this is what you want. I don't know. Please advise because you haven't set up a call yet and I have two hours, two and a half hours left in my shift. So does this have the info I need? Yes, okay, hold on, do I have multiple rows? Let me see, what does the data download look like? No, not the data, the cross tab. Let me see, what does that look like? So what, a part of what I understand that she's wanting to prove out is, hey, 
these are our top performers. What are they earning? Because we are we are in sales, so that has to do somewhat with commissions, what people are earning, that kind of thing. So they're wanting to drive performance, like from our middle performance to prove out. And my understanding is that, hey, I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of like top performers are going to earn regardless. So why like most of the money that's being spent is going to them and we need to spend more money driving our middle performers and push them up to that top performer bucket. That would be more valuable if we can get more out of those middle performers is what I understand they want to try and prove. Okay, does this have the this has the ID. Do we have? Okay, so I'm going to take this data. What? How do you have a different name? See, this is what I'm so, so y'all had name changes. Okay, I'm going to have to clean this data up because there I there's people that ha Oh, hold on. I need to show I need to change my field settings. Uh, show repeated items so I can capture duplicates because apparently people have name changes. So it's the same employee ID, but they have a name change. So they have two rows of data. Like, come on, I need y'all to get it together. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to consolidate these names. Hopefully it's not a lot of people that have, I hope it's just a handful of people. Oh my gosh, why? How, how? How do y'all have different names? I, I I don't. Why? Okay, so I'm going to take their name out and just use their sales ID. And okay, let's see if I can do. Yay, no duplicates. Okay, so I'm going to join that to this. Add this to my other file that has their year to date results. Okay, so we have their IDs, their count, how much they've earned. Okay, so I'm going to do naming my range in Excel and so I can do my VLOOKUP off of their ID. So I can count the, or I'm gonna just do total. I'm gonna do my VLOOKUP on their ID. Oh, hold on, oh, my table is that. And then I'm going to do the absolute or the absolute value so it doesn't change what I'm looking at. Uh, let me do an if error because I hate the NA. So if you put an if error before and just do blank so that it doesn't give you an NA, it'll give you a blank. So I just do double quotes to indicate blank. So let's put this in a pivot table and see what we see. Employee, and I want to see their year-to-date rank, their year-to-date results. Display, pivot table options, display, no classic. Why am I getting not enough memory? Okay, let me save this because every time... I...